Tomorrow we're in Sanford MMA. Going to see Henry Hoof, not seen him for two and a half years now. So two and a half years ago when they first moved into the facility, I came here, it was just an empty shell. And they showed me the, the plans for the gym, but I haven't actually been in since it's been completed. Hey, how are you, mate? Time, right? Yeah, how are you? You okay? Good, yeah, good. Good to see you, buddy. Me too. How are you? How are you, mate? Ah, first, first my friend here. This is my friend here. <laughs> family. You've got more handsome, mate, as you've got older. My hair's like, look like your boy, right? How are you? Good. This is for the fighters when it's done drinking. Look, this is what I wrote. Don't be a greedy f and take one camp of fighters. This is the lounge room, five board. So everything is here, you see? Everything, yeah. Six person dry sauna, wet sauna, hot and cold ones. This is a hot one, there's a cold one. Anyway, have you missed me? I miss you, man. I always miss you. <laughs> First thing Hong did then when I, when I went to hug him, he punched me in the stomach, didn't he? I'm not catching fades anymore. Gotta keep my hands clean when they come for the bar. Keep it smooth like a dawn, making moves in the dark. Cause I learned how to swim in the pool for the sharks. Now they coaches, cause they can't read all his motions. How the kid never switch codes, but he cold switch focus. Staring down your team with a frozen ice cold look that can end the summer solstice. Cause I'm more like the top dog. Keep on running game and the gang will it cost y'all. I be calling players from a plane while I'm off court. But we ain't the same, you a lame. I'm a Mobster. Actually, I'm a top dog on a stat sheet. Off court, but I call plays for the athletes. Laughing when the cop cars try to catch me. Cause I rolled off in a taxi. Put my feet up, I'm relaxing. Singing Figaro with no accent. While I pull strings from the streets in. Do it all with a straight face, I'm the kingpin. So I just finished the training session at Sanford MMA with Henry who did a bit of pad work, did a little bit of touch bar and with Gilbert Burns and uh, Derek Brunson. Early day for you now, Naif, because you can go and shoot back off to the hotel. I've got a meeting with a new luxury cigar brand called Freud Cigars. I'm going from an MMA gym to a cigar meeting. Shows how erratic my, uh, my life is. We've all got that imposter syndrome going on at particular times. And, and we know we all feel it, it's just we don't recognise that other people feel it as well. Here he is, my man! How are you doing, brother? It's also nice to speak to someone who can like, understand the Jordi accent as yeah. well. <laughs> what are you doing today, Ian? Getting my head punched in. Really, I don't know this, y'all in danger, I'm a threat. I'm a threat. I'm a threat. People see only on TV, they think, oh, superstars. These people are just you and me. It's you and me, but for millions of people to do that, the pressure always, and it's never enough. You win, the more pressure comes. You win, you win, you, win. you lose, you're nobody. You're just done, you know? They kick you to the side. It's so, it's, it's, it's very important that they get help with the right people. Right? That's what I think. Sometimes you need someone that you trust, someone that's, yes. someone that's an expert in what they're doing. Yeah. Because we have to perform every day. Yes. The same as these guys. You're the person in here that helps them to perform. Who's helping you to perform? Yeah. So everything you say is like directly clicks in my head. Like I tell Henry, I love him all the time. <laughs> I send him heart messages. And he always sends me a skull or a sword, right? We tell each other we're gonna punch each other in the teeth. But I always tell him I love him because I love him. Say, so I know he loves me, but he's not comfortable with I don't say, it. he's just heading on me because they don't send him any heart. He doesn't send because him any <laughs> Bubbles in the beer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 
You guys are off to go and do some filming with Ian Gary, again for Bruce's channel, and I'm off back to the hotel to pig out and watch some films. Bruce has been copying my basketball tops as well, but he doesn't. It doesn't pull the top off quite as well as me because he's not a spelt. What goes on in your head that gives you that hope? Like, what are you telling yourself that keeps that light alive? Because a lot of people would lose that. At the end of the day, if you truly believe in something, and it's, it, it's, it, it's easy, regardless of everything. I'm doing what I love every day. I'm living the life I want to live. And I'm getting closer and closer and closer to all my goals and all my dreams that I've set out since I was a kid. Could have done with an extra day. Yeah. Friday we could have done American Top Team. Probably Usman as well. Yeah. Usman said to me back end of the week, do you want to go something to eat? And I'm like, what day is like Friday? And I'll be on I said I'll be on a plane. And I mean from the bottom of your stomach, scream your name. Season! What's changed here? Uh, what, what's changed? I know both of you. But you knew both of us then? Yeah, but there was other people around. There we go. We care too much about what other people think. Susan! <laughs> yeah. You okay? I've seen some shots from Nathan and they look really awesome. I've been in meetings every day for Freud cigars, so I've been <laughs> heading over to Sanford, setting Nathan, Suzanne and Bruce up. I've, I've been yeah. training. I've been training at Sanford every day. Awesome. Goggle gock. Goggle gock. Over and out. Vitor Belfort. Vitor's got a chain of his own gyms called Belfort Fitness Lifestyle. In fact, you've trained at them, Nate. Mm -hmm. So, if we get there for eight o'clock tomorrow, is Coconut Creek facility. You know what those sessions are like. The brutal business and pleasure, and seeing an old friend as well is always good. These sessions with Vitor are great. They're not sessions for fighters. They're um, sessions for the general public training. So he's got a couple of his own fitness studios. But they're really high intensity sessions. You wear a fitness monitor and your results are sort of beamed up on a screen. First met Vitor about seven, eight years ago at the Black Civilians, which is where I obviously met a lot of, and a lot of the guys that are in and around the sort of Sanford MMA scene. He's a good guy, he's one of the originals of the sport. Bruce is in front, listening to pretty old dance tracks. Looks like he's enjoying himself a little bit, doesn't he? He's got the top down, sun shining. We've got yeah. the top up, we've got no, well we have got music on actually, the Beatles channel. Yeah. Yeah, I've got the Beatles channel on. We can't play it because of exactly. copyright. I was about to say that, Ian, so, so we'll, we have to we'll be very reserved. I think out of everyone that we work with on our team though, you know, you, Eros, Martin, Suzanne, Bruce has obviously started to do some bits. I, I'm by far the best looking. The community is awesome. Coming here, working out with positive people who are trying to, you know, change themselves, get healthier, get active, feel good. That's what we got for you guys. And we have a killer workout. You know, getting to train on the bags, it's just awesome. It's a great stress reliever. It makes you feel happy and amazing. So come here, come stop by. I will kick your butts. I'll kick your butts. Mm. We're gonna go online. So people in UK, Russia, India, they will be able, I'm gonna be doing my whole training online. I wanna give back. I wanna be able to create a platform where you'll be able, you and your kid, you'll be able to train with me with your kid. If it's not Michael Jordan, if it's not Kobe Bryant, if it's not someone who paved their way through it, you have to pave the way. You have to go through that thing. And I hope I can collaborate with you and your family and your goals. Golfforlifestyle.com.
Looking forward to getting home, seeing the dog, getting in bed. Won't be that much longer before we're back in an airport again, getting ready to board a plane. But oh, did you find the week? It's been a while since you've been over there, hasn't it? No, no, you, you, you my clear. focus. Do you know what? When you say, "Are oh, you blurred?" I suppose it is. So if you put it over my head, you can put your left hand like hugging the lens. It's not that difficult to hold the camera, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so how have you found the week, and how have you found going back to Miami, really? Because that was. I suppose that's the location we've spent the most time over the years. Yeah, so. that was the first place we went to back in 2019 when I first started working with you, Ian. And so it's quite nostalgic to actually, obviously it's a new gym at Sanford MMA rather than Hard Knocks 365, but it's uh, familiar faces and it was just really nice seeing Gilbert and Ong because we've, we've been to Tokyo with Ong, we've done lots of things with Gilbert and Henry Hoof and lots of the other guys as well. So it was a really nice experience. I'm older doing it now. So older, wiser. Older and wiser. I cringe when I watch my older works, but then I had to do that to actually get to where I am. And I'm sure a few years down the line, whatever I create now, I might cringe at. So yeah. but it's just a, it's a learning process. And I learn something new every time that I do these things. But sometimes you can get scared to actually try. It's good when you do try and you can see, oh, this thing worked really well and this thing didn't work. And I've just, I've just realized now actually nice that we don't need a camera guy. I think I could do this on my own, mate. Tell you what, sheepy, bloody cold, mate. <laughs> Especially when you got flip flops and a t shirt on. <laughs>